Okay, folks, in this lesson, I'm going to do a quick tour of all these different tabs that are available to you in Chrome Developer Tools. Okay, this time I'm going to open Chrome Developer Tools in a different way. I'm going to press Command Option I. And if you're on Windows, it's Control Shift I. Now, I showed you the Elements panel, but there's a whole lot of other stuff, so I'm going to take you on a quick tour of that. So this one's pretty interesting right here. This is this shows you what the website is going to look like if you're on an iPhone. And this particular website here is not responsive. But if I go to a site like jQuery.com, we'll see what that would look like on a phone. And then this also emulates touch behaviors. You can change the different types of uh, devices down here. If I want to see what it looks like an iP on an iPad, it'll do that. Let me close these off. It actually just fits those in the window right like that. So I'm going to turn this off and let's take a look at the other panels. So here's the console and this actually has a bunch of extra stuff here, but I'm going to close that off. And in here you can type any sort of JavaScript command. So I'm going to go console.log. Hello. Oh, look, I got hello students already there. And then that prints that out. So this is really helpful if you want to type in little tiny pieces of code. Now, here's the sources panel. This is where all your source code goes. Uh, there's this nice little hint here. Hit option P or actually command P. And then I can start typing the name of any file that's in here. So I know jQuery must live in the jQuery web page. So I'm looking at uh, a copy of that right here. The application tab has information about the kind of things that are in your application. I like this specifically to look at cookies and local storage. The network panel shows you all the network requests and I can go ahead and hit command R to reload the page just like it says right there. And down here is a timeline of all of the things that are available. So here are all the assets that are loaded up on jQuery.com. There's also a timeline up here with screenshots of loading and you can use this to help you figure out why your page loads might be slow. Let's look at the audits panel. You can reload page and run this. And this gives you a bunch of tips as to how you can get your page to load a little bit quicker. There's the security tab here and it shows that this page is not secure because it's not HTTPS right here. Your connection to this site is not secure. Now I'd imagine that if I go HTTPS colon slash slash jQuery.com, I get the secure version of the site and I get all this nice green down here. The performance tab is pretty advanced uh, and we probably won't go over it in this course, but I do go over it in my other course. And then the memory tab is another sort of advanced feature for once you get really going with this stuff. You can also look over here for more tools to see all the different other items that are available to you. Okay, so that wasn't so hard, was it? There's a lot that you can do in these Chrome developer tools. So I have this page open right here, this Audio Nautics. I'm going to give them a shout out because I'm using all of their free music in this course. So maybe I'll help them make this website look a little bit better while you're gone.